Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In this video, we'll be refactoring these filters into its own separate component. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. So let's get started. Let me go to this index view over here, which is under this roles and we are under the roles currently. Now let me create a filters component over here. Filters dot view and let me initialize the view three component setup. I'll just copy this from here and I'll paste that over here. And now I'll use that filters over here and let me import that filters as well. I'll go here and import filters from filters view as this thing will be always inside the same directory. We'll be using this dot syntax over here. We already have these filters over here. So we'll use this as a V model over here. Okay, now let me go to this filters and let us see whatever things that we need to import. We need to import this label and input and card. So I'll just go here like this. I'll paste this over here and let me duplicate this and say here card like this. And I also need to add an extra card, I think, yeah, over here. So I'll say here card like this. Here we have passed these filters over here as a prop. So we need to accept it. I'll just say here props equals to define props. And here we'll say filters type object and default will be an empty object. And since we want this V model feature over here, we also need to define some emits. So let's say const emits equals to define emits and we need to update, sorry, not filters. We need to say here model value. And we have to write here update colon model value like this. Whenever we emit this thing, then this model V model will also be updated. Now let's say const and let me import this view over here. Import from view like this. And I'll say here const filters equals to ref. And this will be imported inside here like this. And here I'll say this model value. So I'll just say here props dot model value like this. And we'll watch the changes on the filters and we'll emit this one. So I'll say here watch and it is imported over here. Watch and we'll watch on filters, these filters. And then we'll just say here like this. And we want deep to be true because it is an object we want to watch it deeply so whenever the filter changes we will emit update model value oh yeah and we need to add this inside an array like this and now here inside the emit we will say here update model you can see here it is auto completing for me whenever we write this like this then it will auto complete for us in the vs code and now i'll pass filters filters dot value like this Whenever this filters changes, which means that whenever we type something over here, then it will emit model value, which will in turn change this V model value, this filters. And this filters is coming from here. Sorry, not from here, but from here, which is coming from inside this use filters. And we are returning that filters from here. And we are watching this filters if it is changing or not. And if it is changing, then we are fetching the items. So let me save this and let me go here and refresh the page. And let me open console as well and we don't have any other issues now let me type here admin then it is working perfectly fine and if i show you here inside the view just let me zoom it and inside this let me go here inside this authenticated and inside the container i think yeah 
we have this filters and we can see here the value is changed over here this value is also changed over here filters because we have emitted that value which changes the v model value and in turn changes this filters and you can see that value over here also it is also changed so we have successfully refactored our filters code into this separate filters component and you can see here it looks a much more cleaner over here if i just show you the difference before it was like this and now we have only this now let us also do the same thing for the permission so let me open this and i'll copy this filters over here and i'll paste it inside the permissions and i think everything is same for the permission as well because the column name is also name now let me go here in the index of the role and i'll just copy this thing and i'll go here in the index and also let me just go here and replace this with the filters and let me import these filters as well and here i'll paste it over here like this now let me again refresh the page over here and let me go to the permission then we are not seeing any console error okay this is the 404 5 icon error and now if i just search for let's say view then we can only see the view and if i just remove then we can see every other rules which means we have successfully refactored our filters code into its separate component now it will look much more cleaner than before and in the next video we'll be looking at how to attach permissions to the roles so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye